up everybody welcome to today's video today's video we are at a z-con car show here in birmingham alabama go ahead and show you some of my favorites from here at the show hope you guys are ready stay tuned Uh, started out as like a thousand dollar like just budget build ready for the junkyard and um, I knew I wanted to do the 2J because of the reliability and the power um, but what I ended up doing was cutting up a BMW 540 and swapping over all the suspension uh, because it's actually really good suspension it's really cheap you can find those cars for next to nothing because uh, they're cost a million dollars to keep it running so people just get rid of them um, so I, I did all that uh, got the 2j in there and now I'm just enjoying it sounds nuts for sure yeah the car originally was pretty rusty so it did a lot of body work a lot of welds into it 
I really like the color. Yeah, it's a uh, Porsche Cayenne. Ooh, nice. What made you want to go with this like scheme? With like the, the black and the It looks really cool. That's what uh, actually first got my attention with the car. Well, when I uh, when I was younger, I used to paint a lot of cars, and I painted a car for an older guy. I had a Jensen Healy, and this is the paint job that he had in mind. That's what he wanted. That's cool. And uh, yeah, I always loved that paint job on that car so much. Um, so when I, I painted my brother actually as a 260, mm -hmm. and I when I painted his car, I convinced him to do that paint scheme, and I, it looked really sharp on this car. So I decided, well, I have to do it on mine. So he has actually a matching red and black one. Huh. Yeah, my dad actually has a matching um, black and yellow. What is it that uh, made you want to go with the 2J for the platform? Um, when I, um, I had a friend, his girlfriend, um, and, her, and her father built a car. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a uh, Supra, and it was, it was the coolest sounding car around, and it was really, really fast. She had really good luck with the motor, was always you know, around town, everybody knew the car. So I knew one day, I'm like, I, I gotta have a 2J car. So when I bought this, my dad actually told me, he's like, you need to do a swap. I kept doing the L28s and my Zs and I was blowing them up all the time. And <laughs> so I needed power. something a little more reliable. And uh, at the time, the 2Js were cheap. They were only like two grand. It's for the GTE. And so I just, went and put down the money you don't have to build a motor you know you're spending two grand you're getting something that's reliable and and good to go so that's that's the main reason awesome. the cost and the reliability it looks amazing i know it sounds amazing Basically, is a homologated 280ZX with special decal. But these were homologated by Nissan. Basically, these are so cool.
by the way, I forgot to mention, there's only about a thousand and nine of these. What's up, you guys? So this is actually my favorite Z32 I've seen today. This is called Bomberman Donnie. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about the Bomberman? I'd say 1990 twin turbo Nissan 300CX. Um, putting out at the crank uh, around 794 horses. Um, it's got the custom metal grinder artwork uh, done by uh, self-made customs. Also got the same. Um, artwork in the engine bay. In the spoiler you can see I got a samurai sword. Controllers up front, controllers in the back. One in front is wired, one's in the back of wired.
guys, that was today's show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys saw some cool Z cars and even maybe learned something. Go ahead and comment below. Let me know what car you guys like the best and which generation Z is your favorite. And as always, make sure you share this video with someone who likes Z cars as well. Give me a like, give me a follow. Make sure you guys check out all my other content. Peace. Just tell